Patrick. We now go back to Jade Porsa, who is in Durban CBD. Earlier, they were marching the EFF members to Florida Road. We understand, though, that uh, some members are being stopped by police not to enter that road. You will recall, of course, that is a very infamous road. But let's go now to Jade Porsa. Talk to us about what's happening there. Well, yes, we've just arrived in Florida Road now, and the EFF has just been stopped by police. They cannot enter um, this particular line here. I'm just going to bring in the SG because he was talking to some of the SAPS members. SG, uh, Marshal Lamini, what exactly happened? Why aren't you allowed to enter the road? They indicate as to why? No, there's no indication. They just decided that they're going to stop us. But it's exactly what I said earlier on, that they said we must only go and protest in the areas of black people. Now we're in Florida, where whites and all of them, they stay, they decided to block the road and no consultation. They just pulled guns on us, then intimidation with an intention to just shoot at us. Now we just one of them, the police, has come to me and said, SG, even ourselves, we don't agree with this uh, order that has been given by Mkwanazi. Because apparently Mkwanazi has got businesses here. So he said to these people, they must shoot at us. That's why they are removing all those kumbis and uh, trucks that were escorting us since 10 a.m. They're saying remove those trucks so that we can just uh, shoot at these people. That's it. There's no any other reason for the full protest. You've been with us since 10 a.m. That's exactly Even private security say, guys, leave. We don't know what is happening. These people, they just want to shoot at you. And they're saying it's Mkwanazi who gave them that order. The provincial whatever that rubbish is. Uh, SG, uh, do you perhaps think that maybe it's because there's no directive as to why, or where exactly this protest is going? Um, earlier they did ask you, I overheard them asking, where exactly are you going to end the protest? There's never been a directive, if that was the question. Why do we, were they comfortable when we were walking in the streets where there's poor and the forgotten people? Now that we come and touching the right owners of the economy and those that are in good with government to run this country, why do they have an issue now? Because we, we said that in the morning, said yesterday that we're going to shut down and protest on each and every street. And they never had a problem. Even now, to demonstrate, they're saying, they don't say let's disperse, saying go back to where... Uh, black people like you live, where poor people live, not here in, in, in these affluent areas. They're not saying to us there's a time limit or anything. They're just saying they don't want us in the suburb area because, yeah, it's an area reserved for certain races and we don't give a damn about that. that that's the issue, it's racism. And, and the police are in the forefront, led by Mkwana, whoever the guy is. Because there's no reason, they're not giving us a reason. Why should we go? They say, go back to that side, which they told us in the morning that don't come to places where white people stay. That's where we are now, and that is offending them. Will you move? Will you be moving at all? No, if they want to shoot us, it's here. He said they want to shoot us. That's why they remove buckets. They've told us that. He said they must remove those drugs because he's organizing the shoot. That's why they open bullets. He's here. If he wants to shoot, let him shoot now. He's here. He said he's told that he must shoot. Let him shoot. Speak to him. He's here. All right, that was Jade Porcer coming to us from Durban. Now, let's take you back to my colleague Jade Porcer, who is on the ground for us in Durban. Earlier, she was speaking to Secretary General Marshal Zamini. Uh, Jade, if you can hear me, we got cut off there, but when you were speaking to Marshal Zamini, what is the way forward now? Well, yes, um, we are still on Florida Road where the EFF are trying to find common ground with SAPs that are cordoning off this particular stretch of road. We are told that um, the order came from the Provincial Commissioner Nklantla Mkwanazi to not allow uh, let, uh, the EFF members into um, the, the road, Florida Road. We're just trying to find out more information with regards to this. Um, SG, if I can just steal you, we got cut off earlier on. Have you gotten some sort of clarity from SAPS as um, whether you can proceed or not? No, there's no clarity. They're saying Mkwanas, he said he doesn't want us to interfere with this place. This is a place of Mkwanas. That's a, that's a directive we're getting from them. No clarity. There's no difference from what we're doing since morning. And they're not even saying uh, we must disperse. No, they're saying go to that place because this place is reserved for a specific race. That's what they are doing. They are perpetuating racism. But they think we are scared of them and threatening us with guns. How do you just, uh, on people who are peacefully protesting, you just pull guns on, on them and say, go, go this way. When you ask them, who said that? Because the lady of police that was given to us since morning, she's here. They've overpowered her because Mkwana has said, we're going to interfere with these private businesses. That's the nonsense we're dealing with in this country. But it's going to come to an end very soon. 
is she waiting to come now. Are you, are you going to... to be a leader? I said to you, give us the name of this person. He's busy running away, going up and down like a fool, instead of telling us exactly what is happening. Earlier on, I asked you before we got cut off, will the EFF be moving from Florida Road or are you going to wait for clarity with regards must to... come here and give us clarity because by the time we leave, we need to know who's this person because we're not going to let it rest. We're not going to allow gangsters to come and hijack uh, state institutions like police. Gangsters who've got businesses here, they never had a problem when we were in the city centre where ordinary people stay. Now that we're affecting their, my, uh, their, cust their customers, their whites that stay here, they've got a problem because they've got interest and they're in the pockets of these business people that stay here. And we're not going to allow that. He must come and tell us who is this person that issued a directive. They can't all of them run around and say it's a directive from where? From heaven. There's no heaven. He must tell us who issued that directive. But he's a coward. He's hiding behind them because if he was brave, he was supposed to leave that office and come and put that directive here himself. But he's a coward. We know cowards are like that. They hide behind ordinary policemen who are on the ground doing their work. They have to follow the rules. But that coward is hiding. They must tell him, you must come and issue that directive. Well, as you can um, see on your screens and hear, um, the EFF disgruntled, uh, lead, one of the leaders there, uh, the SG, uh, Marshal Glamini, very angry, saying that he wants his members to be allowed to proceed and to enter into Florida. I'm just going to ask if Spook can get a bit closer so we can see what exactly police are um, talking about. There. Maybe we can just try and find out what exactly the... Oh, you are lying. <laughs> The next chain of command will possibly be, I see, there was a gentleman here that was talking to the SG of Spook and just walk with me and we can just try and get some clarity. Sorry, sir. Yeah. Anybody's got rights, general committee also got rights, so we must now say play clearly, he had this opportunity to have rights, simple. Sorry, sir, just to get some clarity, I see that you spoke. I got the communications of this gentleman. Colonel Brigid Nike will talk to you. Yes, well, that's one of the SAPS members here telling the media that, you know, he's not going to be speaking to us. Uh, Brigadier Jane Laika, who is a spokesperson of the SAPS in the province, he will speak to us. But just to show you on your screens here, many, many of the members are standing and waiting um, to hear what the final verdict is, whether they can proceed into Florida Road, um, just standing and waiting for the SG to give them confirmation and more information. Um, let's see if we can speak to some of them, actually. Let's just move this way and see if we can speak to some of of these members of here oh, have spoken as well with me. Oh. Um, you live on SCBC New, ma'am. Uh, how do you feel right now? You're not allowed into Florida Road. Okay, now let's move from here. So I think I'll hand back to you in studio as we try and find out more information on the ground. But what I can tell you now is a provincial commissioner, Nklantlam um, Kwanazi, has given a director to SAPs on the ground who have been following this peaceful protest. We are now in Florida Road. We're going to find out what is going to happen now. The EFF want to come into Florida Road. However, they have been blocked and stopped by a very large police contingent. Spoo, if you can just swing your camera around and show the viewers back at home some of the the police on the ground i see they're still trying to find out if they can proceed into florida let's try and listen oh, so now you are putting mouth, your words into my mouth I'm asking, okay i'm asking a direct question yes so it's your authority that that blocks the road for us to say we must not pass it is quite simple no 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 i am protecting the community from what in from terms what? of making sure that i can have this this road to be open so clearly we but would, clearly. you know we have long passed here we're yes. not even stopping anywhere yes. until this uh, arrogance and there is this is wrong law. Uh, no, we it no is. Arrogant. We are negotiating. But okay, I'm asking you a final question. Yes. Is it you who issued a directive that we cannot pass here? That's what I'm asking. Is it you, it, sir? It, yes or no? It, uh, what do you mean it is me? It's you. You said you are... I you, am the authority. Firstly, you said to me. I am the authority. Firstly, you, you said to me. I'm not no. you, sir. You said to me first. 
end of the day, I'm not you said to me, do not no, it's not about our argument. The issue it's is about just being an honest police. police That's line. it. We put a police line here. Simple as that. Yeah, but, say clearly, but, but if you, you put a police line, say, you've left. got a responsibility to communicate with us and say why. Didn't we communicate with you? No, no, no. I'm talking to you. This is my command. Yes. So now I'm saying to you, no, no. We're speaking the same language. I'm saying to you, you've got a responsibility. We ask you why did you just throw guns without engaging us? No, Barushma. Uh, no, Sorry, no, yes. Brother. No. You are not honest. No, I am honest, sir. But at the end of the day, you are, you are, not, you are not an no, honest person. I'm not here to negotiate with you. In Whoever is putting pressure on you is going to leave you in a mess. No, because I'm that. asking you a direct question. Yes. Are you the one who's stopping us to pass here? We are telling you clearly we're diverting you because we have that right. You see, you can't, you, you, you we see, are giving you a route. You, you are you, ready you to see, take that you route. You can't answer. No, clearly, no, I'm, I'm answering you. I'm telling you clearly, you cannot do your own thing. We are giving you now route. You are too old. You are too old. You are going to. Lie as well. You are too old to lie. Member of Parliament, security decide. But the member of Parliament, I can't lie. If that one, but the, you are there when he said, even yourself, it's on their part. When you get this, we need to defend our man. Please, yeah. We are security. No, I'm trying to know what you're asking. Oh, oh. Fighters, let's go. Will you be leaving, SG? Yeah, let's go. Well, there you have it. EFF members will now be making their way through Argyle Road back to Musgrave. Seemingly conceding. We are not here at all. About what is happening right now? We are, we are, we are not here. We are not here to kill anything, but you are in a judge for piece of marsh. Now people they are trying to kill us. We are not here. We are doing our civil rights. Well, there you have it. Whilst we bring you the latest on the ground and take you through exactly where this protest will eventually end up. We're not yet sure. There were talks that we would possibly go to uh, to Mklanga, to Gateway, and then there were also talks of Phoenix, but there's been several ch um, changes throughout the course of the day, making our way here to Florida. Obviously, access has been denied, but I'll hand back to you in studio, and maybe we can touch base later on as I'll have the latest view on the grounds. All right, Jade Porter, thank you so much uh, for your time. Of course, uh, the man you've been seeing there negotiating with police to go into Florida Road was a Marshal Azamini. Of course, we'll go back to Jade and just get the very latest there a little bit later on.